it is the 1st of September. The trash window is still open. Ignore the change in look. Since we've last spoke, two signings have happened. One in, one out. And to us, I think that's our business done. Let's go in and have a look at the games we've been playing and see the team that we're about to play in the cup after Middlesbrough. We're probably getting put out. This is Gravage Gamer. My name is Duncan. Welcome back to The Journeyman. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. So this is how we've been playing since we were last here. And as you can see, we're actually unbeaten. So we played Birmingham, then Gateshead, and then when well, that was in the last video, then we drew 1-1 with Coventry. They got a last-minute equaliser after a Hugh Mayo goal gave us a lead on 62 minutes. We then were at home to Blackpool, and quite a good victory, to be honest. Patrick Jones puts in the lead on 52 minutes for... Esiosa, Sully, uh, equalised for them on 6-1, but James and James Scott made sure that we took all three points and then went away to West Brom in a very comfortable 4-1 win. Juan Hernandez and Conor Christie getting their first goals for the club before James Scott scored two penalties for us. Joe Perot got a penalty to make it 3-1 on 82 minutes. We then drew 1-1 with Rotheringham at home. Pretty poor performance overall. Not really much to say there. We then played Ipswich in quite a good penalty shootout. A uh, penalty shootout. Pretty good game that ended in a penalty shootout. Thomas Woodward and Edmund Skenderaj both got our goals with Javier Caronel and Connor Chaplin equalising for Ipswich. But we scored all five of ours. They missed one of theirs. So today we are away from home against Middlesbrough, who are currently fifth in the league. And then we're away to Arsenal. I don't think we're going to progress by that. But that is the plan for today. In terms of player in and player out, the player we brought in, his name is Che Nyoni. He is on loan from Liverpool. He is a squad player on centre mid. We are paying absolutely nothing for him, as you can see. And the player who left was none other than Will Mannion. He left for £350,000 to Swansea City. And also... Also, 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 Liam Kitching has signed a new deal, quite an expensive deal, but it will keep him at the club. It keeps most of the squad happy, more than I kind of wanted to pay him, but that is the way it is. We're still within a wage budget, still have a little bit of money to spend, but honestly, I am very happy with the squad that we've got. I actually thought we were already on the setup for the game. We're not, so we'll just do that just now. But yeah, Vass been playing quite well in the championship and we haven't changed at all from this. We're still playing a controlled possession and it's working pretty well for us. We've kind of adapted so far quite well to championship life. I'm expecting a drop off at some point when a newly promoted team were favourites to be relegated. Weirdly. Um, but I kind of get it. I think and kind of hope that if we do start to have a lull, it won't be too bad. Uh, that was a guy that I'd wanted but pulled out of. Uh, see, our reviews are going pretty well. Squad dynamics are fine. Actually, let's have a quick look at the championships stage preview. And see that we're now not rock bottom. We're now expected to be 23rd. We don't have anyone in the best 11. But honestly, I'm pretty confident that we'll finish bare minimum it's kind of like I'd say maybe between 13th and 17th I don't think we're really going to be in much danger of relegation but I guess we'll see when the time comes at the end of the year so our team will be Casper Bishad Bishad how did we agree to say this Bishad we'll go for Bishad and goes Ryan Andrews actually played pretty well for us this year so after struggling in the division below, he's done okay this year, but it will be Nathan Ferguson taking his place as our right-back with the partnership of Negru and Kitching. As normal, Wayne Paint will take up our left-back slot with Lewis Robson and Lassane Kamara. Lamine. Damn it, Duncan. Uh, out wide will be 
Patrick Jones, James Scott has actually picked up an injury in the last game, and I can't remember how long he is out for. Yeah, 24 weeks. Bummer. Uh, our number 10 will, of course, be James on the left wing, will be Juan Hernandez up front, will be Connor Christie on the bench. We will have Doy, David, Andrews, Truffas, Robinson, Nyland, Neone, Woodward, and Skindraj. That is a plan. Anyway, that is a lineup. I like the amount of gold star there is. But seriously, this looks a very decent side. Connor Christie's not scored as much. I think he's only scored one goal so far, which is fine. Like, you know, it's early in the season. We have a lot of games to play. And he is a young player, but what I have liked is he's very good at getting into a lot of positions. And he is actually playing relatively okay for the team. It's just that scoring aspect, which is a big part, don't get me wrong, but it's that kind of final part that hasn't quite got that there. But that's why he's with us. We said him as a youth player. That's the same thing. I think it is like be right wing, but when he came in, we looked and we decided, I decided, to, to play him as a striker and give him minutes there. And that is exactly what we're doing. And honestly, we have Scott usually is back up on the right wing, but he can play up front. We have Skendraj who can play up there, who are scoring goals. I think they're both on three goals for the season in terms of Scott, pardon me, and Skendraj. We've also got guys like... Um, Oh, the guy who didn't put the boy on loan, Hugh Mayo, uh, he can play up there. Woodward can play up there. There are guys who can't fill in there if needed. It was a position we considered and had quite actively tried to get a striker in for, to be honest. It, uh, usually it's a second choice. There was only one guy that we attempted to bring in on loan who would have been a striker over Connor Christie, but um, he chose someone else. And uh, we just moved on and strengthened our midfield instead. Dead. With the sale of Will Mannion, I did consider bringing in another goalkeeper, but I think I'll just play Casper in all of the games. I, I don't really want to play George Long. Happy enough to play him in the cup if I need to, but I think we'll just not rotate that position, to, to be honest, outside of injury and illness and fitness. So far, Middlesbrough are doing quite well to just keep us off the ball. As you can expect, I think they've probably spent a fair bit of money I'd be surprised if they hadn't. They've got a couple of good players. I recognise one or two. Shotier came through the Manchester United Academy, didn't he? I think he's still there in real life. But I could be wrong. I've seen another name. I can't remember it now. Middlesbrough's obviously who we signed Robinson from. And I believe maybe even Kitching, but I'm not sure. We are, by the way, the team in white. It is Middlesbrough who is the team in red since they are at home. Good tackle by Juan Hernandez. Operating out right back there for some strange reason. Yeah, he does keep finding space. So let's get Kamara to mark him. Might not be the type of game for Kamara, to be honest. He is more of a box-box midfielder. Might maybe be better, if need be, bring on Nyland to be that deep line playmaker. Just try and put his foot on the ball and get us a bit more control in there. But I'm quite happy just now with Robson on a ball when the midfielder been in there, although Robson and Kamara aren't playing particularly well. Middlesbrough have definitely been the better team so far. They're just all over us. We cannot seem to be able to get involved in the game, and that is a very good goal. Maybe offside, but it was. I think it's that ball to the guy that was there. I don't think uh, Shoretier was the one who was actually offside. But right now, we are struggling. We are struggling a lot. If we can get into half time now, now I'll be happy-ish. Because I think we'll need to make a couple of personnel changes because we're just not performing well. Good tackle by Payne, but we can't really break away. Christy seems maybe a bit isolated up there, which is a worry. That was a nervous hand, and it is a goal that time. I'm not going to get an offside for that one. It's Martin Allen who gets a goal for them. It's been coming as a minute before half time. It's not ideal. We'll still make the changes we were considering. I'm considering making, which is probably the two centre mids changing. Might even bring a show. We're not creative enough. We're not positive enough, which is true. We haven't been, and it is why we're going to bring on Darren Robinson. We're also going to bring on Nyland for Kamara in there. We may we'll give James ten minutes, but I think we'll end up bringing on uh, Nione in there. Whiskey and probably going to go into the Patrick Jones role if he doesn't start improving. 
but we'll see if the two centre mid changes can affect a little bit of change for us. The difference between having Lewis Robinson in there and Darren Robinson, who's just come in, is Darren will try and win the ball slightly further up the park. He'll probably be a bit more involved in the attacking plays as well. With Haskell Old Nyland in there, what we're looking for, ideally, is him and get the ball deep, try and just, not just retain possession, but try and find guys like James, like Jones, like Hernandez, in better positions than maybe the runs from Kamara. I don't think we need the runs from him, I think. I think we're probably going to have to bring on Neone. I never learned how to say his name. But we'll play him as a midfield three. He'll make his runs from there still. But it might just help us just get the ball in the middle of the park. Because we just seem to be... I don't know. We're just not seem to be able to get a real foothold in the game. And I can't... Other than the fact that they're just a better team than us. I can't overly figure out why we just can't seem to lay a glove on them. Skenda is going to come on. Jones has had an absolutely awful game. What are you, a winger? Inside forward. Yeah, we'll play him as an inside forward, I think. On attack. We're going to bring on Neone. Uh, we'll drop that now into a midfield three. Where he will be centre mid on attack. So we're still going to have him attacking. We had attacking midfield three there before. But that space opening up, I'm hoping this might take advantage of their DM. Who, they'll have a player there, there and there. I'm hoping he can maybe be a little bit of a We'll even drag that DM away. We have just equalised. While I'm talking to you, we have just equalised. And it is a guy... I'm going to have to cancel that now because it looks like it was James that just scored. Let's find out what's happening. Christie's made a run down the left-hand side. Skips past the right back. Cuts across Patrick Jones. Takes a touch. Takes a touch. Finds James in space. James just slots it past the goalkeeper. Cam as you like. That has made things a bit more difficult. But one change that isn't difficult was one that I was going to make is George Nevitt is going to come on and replace Kitchen. Kitchen, who just said the new deal, was playing awful. Keep an eye now on the other things as they have just hit a shot. Good save by the goalkeeper. Really poor defending. It wasn't a save that I'd expect us to get beat by. A shot we'd expect to get beat by, but it was really poor defending. I think we've just given away a fucking penalty and we have. Don't know who gave it away and I don't really care. Can Casper save a penalty like he just did in our last game? Christian steps up. Unlucky. Even guessed the right height, but Jacob Christian slots that one home. And we really want to try and get back in this game. I'm going to bring on Woodward, who has been playing okay. And I'm going to bring on Skenderad still. Just in a different position. The rest will stay the same. Let's see if this is enough to try and rescue a point back against Middlesbrough. Because if it isn't, we are struggling. But again, Mills on a good side. I'm kind of okay with the defeat. We've been outclassed, definitely, but we haven't looked like we're not okay for this level. It's not like that we've not looked like a team from the division below. We have looked like a championship level team, just being beaten by a better team. Probably I should have been smarter. Probably shouldn't have tried to do the you know control possession, but at the end of the day... I'm kind of comfortable with doing it. I, we've built the team to play it. With the exception maybe a right back, but I needed a good right back in there. So, where I, I would personally, Patrick Jones slots home the equaliser. Where, when I'm playing this, usually with other teams and my own personal saves, I like attacking or at least supporting wing backs or complete wing backs. We have those players, but they're not first choice. Our first choice is the very solid Nathan Ferguson. And our defensive wing-back in Wayne Payne. But they are good players and they will get involved in the attack and play. But defensively, they're a lot better than, you know, Truffis and Andrews. So they are probably a bit more horses for courses this year at full-back. And the game against Middlesbrough, it's definitely the more defensive options. As we're seeing, because they're just dominating us. Is this something we need to correct? Yeah, I would say so. But how do we correct that? I'm actually not too sure because I'm pretty happy with the midfield players we're playing and how strong they are. I think it's just... I think they've just been better on the day. It's, I'm not worried by the result. You know, I'm not seeing anything that's like, oh my God, we're going to struggle this year. I'm just seeing us come up against a good side, to, to be perfectly honest. Can we steal the result here? Woodward, Payne to Woodward. Guess about to Payne. He's got a bit more space to Woodward. He's going to have the shot. Keeper saves. And it's a corner. 
But we all know how bad you are from set pieces, so let's watch this not go in. We're awful at set pieces. We have a set piece coach, and we're awful at set pieces. Love it. Five minutes left. I mean, you look at those match stats, they've been all over us. We haven't actually kept possession. We've only had one corner. They've had eight. Like, you can see the difference. They'll definitely feel unhappy. They've not, all going well, walked away with the win. We kind of, it feels like we've kind of stole a point, to be honest. But that's what you need to do. We've played badly. And we've, at Stein's currently stand, ground out a result. With three minutes of added time left, can we steal the win? Never. Back to Caspar. Negro. Ferguson. Trying to advance. To Robinson. To Jones. To James. Oh, unlucky. Good save by the goalkeeper. James looks like he's going for that top corner to put this game well beyond doubt. As the minute, or the seconds even, tick down. Patrick Jones is going to cut this in now. Cut this in? Cross in with his left foot. Doesn't go anywhere as we'd expect. Woodward picks up the ball but loses out. That's got to be the end of the game. We're a minute over how many was held up. Please don't lose a goal here, lads. Casper's caught it, and that should be the end of the game, and it is. Middlesbrough 2, Exeter 2. Stole another very, very good away point. Very good away point. Uh, Don Burnley come back themselves a draw, and I can't argue with that. They really have done. We will tell the players who played any game time today they'll get rest up for a couple of days as we go away to Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. We're out. We're definitely going out. Yeah, we're not we're not back for the game yet, but I thought that's actually quite a cool good thing to show. Is we are the lowest weekly spenders in wages, and this shows what we are up against. We are spending two hundred fifteen thousand pounds a week on wages. Wolves are spending one point nine million. Luton one point eight million. Bournemouth one point two million. Middlesbrough nine hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> like we are so not. In terms of wages, we are just such a low-down team. I mean, I honestly think to be like a comfortable even mid-table side, we're talking like 700,000 a week. Mental. <laughs> to put the figure in perspective, that's 1.7 million a week less than Wolves. Fucking hell. Also, our transfer window wound up. Uh, we didn't Bring in anyone else, we didn't sell anyone else. We spent 1.6 million in the summer and we received only half a million. But yeah, we'll be back in a couple of seconds as we take on Arsenal. Okay, so a couple of changes for the Arsenal game and it's only down to fitness. Casper's going to stay in goals. Ferguson, Negri, Kitching and Jorge Truffis will come in at left back. Robinson and Kamara as per normal. Skenderaj is going to have to go right mid. Hugh Mayo is going in as our number 10 at the Shadow Striker, while Hernandez and Christie will keep their place in the side. Nyland picked up an injury in our previous game. His agent demanded a new contract as an important player. I offered first team player. It broke down. Um, but yeah, he's out injured. This is the team, as you see. Payne's a bit tired. James a little bit tired. So but this is what we're going for, as we hope for the best against a very good Arsenal side. I'm assuming I have no idea. I've not even looked at them. And we're not even playing defensive. I'm just being cautiously optimistic. Okay. Uh, let's just try. Because that's all we can do. Try. And get something going. What's going on? Right, what is going on? So I have, I, I knew I was recording, right? And I'm watching the game over here on OBS and just had a complete 
mind blank. Uh, they've still got Saliba, which is worrying. Whoever the hell Antonio was. Martinelli. Okay. I'm slightly concerned that they're playing a very strong squad. Holy shit, they are. Saliba, Reis, Udegaard, Havert, uh, Saka and Martinelli. Jesus. These lads are taking this um, seriously, apparently. But Truffis... Skendraj, please guess and to nobody. We are uh, struggling a little bit, but honestly, I don't care how bad we play as long as we don't get hammered or we win. <laughs> that, that's kind of what I'm at. But right now, watching just class players hit the post against us is terrifying. Skendraj's though advancing. Ferguson, Robinson, but Skendraj loses out to Hattel at left back. Genuinely feel like we had. We were under more pressure when we played the middles, bro. We're under constant pressure, do not get me wrong. But just felt that we had. And there's a the first goal. It's just like Middlesbrough was far more on top of us than Arsenal were. But. They have took a 1-0 lead. Go by Saka. And that's all we need to really say. It's going to be a long game, I think. It's going to be a very long game for us. Did we just give away a pen? Oh, we did just give away a penalty. Oh, God, we're going to get hammered. We saved it! I just looked away and assumed the worst. Jesus, okay. Great. That This is now not as bad. Um. Oh, I thought that was another penalty. Right, I think we're going to have to make some changes at halftime, though. We're definitely going to change how we're playing. Maybe not the, the the game plan of the control possession thing. But we need to just... Yeah. Yeah, changes had to be made. Other guard with a free kick. Good save by Casper. As I think of what we can and should be doing... Three minutes out of time. I'll happily go in at halftime 1 0 down. Yep. That's. Yeah. We've been terrible sorted out. Um, <laughs> let's have a look and see what we can actually do. I'm going to bring on Neone in a midfield slot. It's fun with you. Over one. I'm going to bring on Dan Robson just because he's booked. Still going to play as center mid attack. We're still going to have some of these players doing their thing. But we are just going to play a very much more a defensive shape than what we've been playing before. We're making four changes. That's always a good fucking sign. I have no strikers to bring on. Because Scott's injured. And Skendraj is on the wing. Fuck! I just realised that. Okay. Uh, we're going to make all five changes right here, right now. Because we're going to need Wiss. We're going to need Andrews on regardless. Let's see what we can do. Five changes. We're now playing a five. It's a 5-4-1. But it's just a very much a narrow 5-4-1. Three centre mids and a number 10. We're asking a lot of the players now. But they can do it. Christie's nicked the ball back. Has a lot of work to do now. Guess it to Truffis. Cuts it back to Kitching, who's a lot further forward than I wanted him to be. Kid playing as a wide centre-back, which was his preferred position when we were negotiating his new contract. He actually put that in as something he wanted. Like, I'd imagine you play me in this role. And I was like, 
No. And it was fine, we moved on in life. Can we do something? Let's fire up the team if we can. Andrews with the throw and gets it to James. Back to Negro. Andrews. Tries to put it over the top. James wins the header. Andrews keeps possession just about. Back to the guy in the middle. Never. Robinson. Kamara. Christie. This is a good bit of play, actually. To James. That is an awful attempt to go. For a man who scored in the last two games for us, that was horrific by James. Actually horrific. And Robinson's picked up an injury. We have no subs to make. Which means we either play with... <laughs> oh, we're just going to play as is. We now are playing with 10 men. Kamara, Truffis. To Kitching. Kamara. Out to Andrews. Neone. Christie! Corner Christie, I think it's offside. It's going to go to VAR. It's going to go to VAR. Oh, it's been this loud. I thought we'd done it. Oh, that's so tight. So unlucky. So unlucky. Saved a penalty and then get the offside. So unlucky, lads. I really can't. I'm going to demand more, but I really can't fault them at all. I really can't. Like, our weekly wage budget is probably what Martinelli, Rice, is, or Sack is learn, earning. And that's a great finish from Declan Rice. Again, there's not much we can do. Like, just, this is us now being outclassed. And you can see that. Gabriel Jesus just came on. Six minutes added time. A couple of players can hold their heads up high, though, it'd be fair. Kamara. Back to Kitchen. Truffis. Just completely runs into Saliba with that. And our cup run is ending right here. But you know what? It's fine. We should hopefully earn a little bit of money, though, from this. Getting an away game against Arsenal at the Emirates. Can hopefully get some dosh in. Kamara for James. Loses out immediately. Oh, please don't make it three now. This is kind of the we're playing with ten men and not one of them is a ball winner in midfield. You know? Hopefully Robinson's not out for too long. Good header away. Seconds left on the clock. Tierney advancing. Saliba. Antonio, Tierney, Havertz, Tierney. And that is it. Full time, Arsenal 2, Exeter 0. We leave the Carabao Cup in the third round. Do you know what? We did go and we gave our best. I generally can't fault us in that one. I thought the team did as well as we could have. And that is the end of our Carabao Cup run. Let's see how badly he's injured. So, Connor Christie will miss one Carabao Cup game next year. Cool. Darren Robson is going to be out for four to five weeks with a twisted ankle. That's not great. Let's have a look at our schedule and see where we will come back. Also, that's our first defeat in competitive competition. Pardon me, this season. Um, Why don't we? Why don't we come back for Swansea? I know, this is a big break into Hull, isn't it? Let's come back then in October. We'll come back in October and we'll come back for Hull and Plymouth. Thank you, everyone who has watched. If you've liked the video, please do leave a thumbs up on it. It does really help the channel in terms of algorithm searches. And uh, if you're watching it and you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. It helps the channel grow and hopefully get more eyes on what we're doing here. And until then, everyone, bye for now.